All right, I wanted to show you guys something I thought was pretty interesting. I'm calling it the skin effect. Um, some of you might know already that some of these salts we're using, such as Epsom salt, contains uh, some water in it. The water is locked up inside the crystal lattice itself. Uh, the electrodes of the cell are not touching the inside of the lattice. The, the electrodes themselves are actually uh, are actually touching the skin of the crystal and that is how the electrons flow through the skin of the crystal itself so if it's actually not touching or this is actually a good test to, sh uh, to find out if the uh, the crystal cells are working with the skin effect uh, that's what I'm calling it the skin effect the electron exchange is happening on the skin of the crystal and the best way I can demonstrate that is to take uh, this crystal cell which is a blue crystal cell I made which is uh, Elmer's glue, salt substitutes, and Epsom salts mixed together. And this is the very salt that's been shorted out for almost two months now. And I want to show you guys the the electron exchange happens on the skin of the crystal and not and not inside the crystal lattice itself. I have a, a aluminum and copper wires that I'm going to be probing it with. So you, you can expect anywhere from 300 to 400 millivolts to come off this. Um, I'll just try to show you guys the best way I can. Um, uh, as you can see, you get voltages on the skin of the crystal itself. Now all I'm doing is I'm just poking the skin of the crystal cell with these two wires. So as you can see, the electron exchange actually happens on the skin of the crystal and not on the lattice of the crystal. I found this very interesting and it's very interesting because of the fact that the water that's inside the salts is locked up in the lattice, the inside of the crystal. And the only way to get the water out is by heating it. When you heat it, you break the skin like you cut yourself. You cut yourself and you start bleeding. Same thing on here. So only way you can release the water is, is by heating it up, which cuts the uh, crystal skin, which releases the water from the inside of the crystal. So the electro electrodes are not actually touching the water. They're not even close to the water. They're actually only touching the skin of the crystal, and that's where the electron exchange happens. So there's a... Uh, there's that.